another thing that Jesus Christ does for us. He defends us and pleads our case for us as believers in Christ. We talked about that a little bit at the beginning, that that's why we need an advocate, amen? And one of the reasons why we also need intercession, but one of the reasons why is because we need him to plead our case before a righteous judge. And so as we talked about previously, he pleads our case for those that are believers. He says, and I've made this sacrifice for them, and I'm paraphrasing, but he's made this sacrifice for us. And so we, those that trust in him, believe in him, are going to be able to enter in because of his blood sacrifice and remission of our sins, amen? We are cleansed and we have his righteousness. And so we're able to the, go into heaven and not have to go into the lake of fire where those that have not accepted his sacrifice who have not trusted in him will go because of the punishment for sin that is the punishment for sin eternal hell fire for those that have not accepted christ as their savior those of us that accepted him we repent when we miss it we are going to be able to enter in into the afterlife and go be with jesus christ in eternity amen some of you remember the great trial of O.J. Simpson. It's a controversial trial. We're not going to talk about it here, about who was right and who was wrong. Uh, because it's a very tragic situation there. Uh, and I'm fortunate that two people lost their lives at the hand of someone. Again, we're not passing blame nor going to identify. He was acquitted of that crime and whether or not we, uh, well, that's all we're going to say there. But I want to use this as an example of advocacy. Now, he had a defense team that was highly qualified. I'm sure they were very expensive attorneys. They advocated for him. They pleaded his case almost as if it was their own lives on trial. So much so that they won that case and they, uh, he was acquitted. Amen. And he was on trial, as you, most of you remember or recall, by the murder of his ex-wife and her friend, Ronald Goldman. And so he was acquitted. They fought hard. Again, we're not saying whether or not he was guilty, but he was acquitted. So I'm saying here today, our righteous advocate, Jesus Christ, is fighting even more so for us and interceding. He loves us and we didn't hire him. He's not a hireling, right? The scripture talks about he's the real shepherd of the sheep. He doesn't just run off and, or try and enter through a side door. He's the real high priest. He's the real shepherd. He's the real intercessor. He's fighting for us. 